Hi everybody, it's Cindy Duncan again with part four of my unbelievable, amazing, and outrageous thrift show, not thrift show, <laughs> estate sale haul. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, I got a couple of these cute little boxes. Again, the prices never mean anything because I always make a bargain or a deal with the guys and get whatever I can. Um, this is a really beat up looking leather little pouch. And there's my cat again. Um, with some sort of an inscription on it. Look at that. I can see it better there. Anyway, I got this. I, I'll try to clean it up with something. but Because I thought that would be really cool to slide a little journal down into. I thought that would be really neat. I got that. Here's another box. I'm drawn to these little wooden boxes. Um, what is that? Brown and Sharp Manufacturing Company. But inside were all these little things. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but they've got crud on them. But I figure I can kind of clean them up maybe and use them for something. Because they're vintage -y. So there's that. Um, this was awesome. I got this. It didn't cost me anywhere near $6, I'm sure, after it went all said and done. But how cool. I just liked the green. I'm partial to the green color. Especially because of estate seal. I mean, guys, I'm like, I'm tired. <laughs> because of St. Patrick's Day. But that's what it's, it's dirt glass. I don't know if that means anything. It doesn't mean anything to me. I just liked it because it was green. So I got that. Um, I always am drawn to little vintage books and stuff, and I have to actually stop myself anymore because I've got so many. But this I had to have because there's writing in it, and that's just totally cool. Um, there are some blank pages in the back. So I could use that in a in a junk journal. I liked that. Then I got these. Not exactly sure what they are, but the pictures are pretty. And I actually grabbed them. They're like some sort of um, sticker. I actually kind of got them because of the glassine envelopes, but there's all kinds of really neat little pictures. And they're all from, pretty sure they're all from the 60s. Maybe from from the 70s. But, yeah, I thought that those would... Yeah, I mean, I'm sure I'll put them to good use. I could, could use those in something. Now my dog's in the room. So he's going to be demanding attention. Hopefully not too much. And hopefully he'll be quiet. Oh, I care. he be quiet. And apparently... I didn't turn off my microwave. You might hear that beeping in the background. So in and among all the stuff, I, in one of the videos I told you that they were that this place was actually getting rid of their home movies, the 8mm home movies. There was a whole bin of them with metal tins, and somebody else had bought them out from underneath me. But I did manage to get two, and I think they left these behind because they were plastic. But at any rate, these I thought were kind of cool um, to have. So I've got one of those there. And there's a second one, and the box even on this is kind of cool. thought that was neat. I don't know if this one, I think this one's probably plastic too. I'm betting that's why the guy left them behind. We've got the other ones. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's plastic too. Anyway, so there's two of those. Um, more fabric. Don't know if this is... Um, wool or not, it's very thin. This feels wool, like wool. So I got this big piece of this, which I think may be wool. And again, I got that because I do felting. And then I was telling you in the last video that sh the, the woman liked to do um, rug rag rugs. And so she had all of this fabric that she had already um, put into strips and rolled up. So I got a whole series of these. I tried to get as much of the wool type yarn as I could. These are not. These are, um, this one could be wool, but the other ones are cotton for sure. That's cotton. Don't know what I'm going to do with them. Never done a rag rug. 
but I mean, hey, the work's kind of done for me already in that they're um, cutting the strips, right? And they're kind of in colors that I like. I'm very much into the fall like colors. There's that one. And then there's that one. I think that's it for the for those. Wee! <laughs> oh, so I told myself I was gonna tell you a story. Because we're going through this, might as well tell you a story. One of my favorite things to do is to teach um art and projects. So I teach at Art Escape, um, which is which has a has been held in the Columbus area of Ohio. I've taught at Stamp Away. I've taught at um, Stampin' by the Sea, and I've taught at other various places around the country. Anyway, it's my favorite thing to do. I love to teach, um, and I always tell I like tell my students these stories. Usually, they come up organically, but it's kind of funny. So I'm, I'll I'll share with you. You all can know the same stories everybody else does. Look at this trim. Isn't this cool? There's two of them on there. Anyway, so I'll tell you a story about my daughter. My daughter, who is now 21, when she was a little girl, and um, she was just born, well, little, little enough to talk, I guess, I was very conscientious about not saying um, swear words in front of her. I really didn't want to cuss in front of my little girl. So I got in the habit of saying things like, God bless the world. Okay, so if, if I was angry at something, I would say, God bless the world. Well, it kind of worked in that my daughter, occasionally she would, I would hear her say, God bless the world. <laughs> so I'm glad it was that and not something different. Um, so that was good. But what's really funny is that I tried so hard, so hard to be so good as far as that went. And one day I was backing out of my driveway, and there's a landscaping boulder. It's, it's, oh, I don't know. I'm so bad with measurements. It's probably, oh, I can't even think of the size. It's not huge. It's, it, I mean, my band backed up over top of the boulder, um, and it was underneath, um, big enough that it, I had a hard time getting back off of the boulder <laughs> and I'm sure, you know, I was worried about what was going to happen underneath the car. But anyway, so I hit this boulder and I said, oh shit, the rock. And I'm trying to get back off the rock. And I, I glanced back, as soon as I said it, I glanced back at my little girl who was strapped in her car seat in the back seat. And she seems oblivious to what, what I just said. And I'm like, oh, I hope she didn't hear that. So I got off the rock and everything, and we went on about our merry way. Well, maybe the next week or something, I'm going to show you some lace while I'm talking and some other stuff. These are curtains. Anyway, the next week, I'm backing out of the driveway, and my little two-year-old, or however old she was at the time, says very sweetly from the back of the, tr back of the van, she goes, Mommy, be careful, shit the rock. <laughs> So I have to always share that story. My little two-year-old is now a 21-year-old, and um, so she is not, uh, she has heard those words before, <laughs> let's put it that way. Anyway, but that's my, my shit the rock story. It's, it's a classic. I tell it all the time. Um, these were from, this, look at this sheer curtain I got these from. These were the tie backs, and I got all, I got a whole bunch of those, like the tie backs. Hi, kitty. I got the tie backs and I got the actual curtains themselves, and they're going to be very hard to um, undo, so I won't do them. This is also a curtain. This is a big piece of curtain, so I grabbed that. I think we're coming to the end, you guys. So I got that. Um, oh, I started to show you, and then I was telling you my story, so I didn't want to interrupt my story. So this lady had a whole box of these things where she took the fiber and made them into necklaces. I probably would never wear just fiber around my neck as a necklace. Um, I think that's a thing. I have seen it at craft shows before. But nonetheless, I got that, all that beautiful fiber. I got, look at this one. I got this one. I got this one. Oh, if you watch this 
first video, I think it was, this is the post-it note that was on that one table runner. So see, they like labeled them, even that they, they were from certain family members. It always makes me so sad. It's like, why didn't somebody want that? This I can understand, because I think she probably just made these. Um, but anyway, so there's this, look at that fiber. And then I got, and then there's this one. This is awesome. So I've got all that fiber I can use in something. This, oh, there's one more. And then here's this other one. So very, very awesome. And there were more. There were way more in the box. Those were the colors that I was interested in. So then I got this. This is an applique collar. Um, I'm going to have to steam it and press it a little bit because it's a little um, wonky. So I got that. Then I'll show you this. I told you I was always looking for some vintage um, things. I thought maybe I could use the, the outside for a book or even, you know, the inside for a book. But check out, I love, I love, love, love the patina on the paper, first of all. But look at all the writing, all the vintage. I just, it's awesome, right? And it's, you know, a lot of this is just notes that people make, but it's just, I really like it. And that's another reason why I just think it's, it's a crime. Any of the school districts that are going away from um, cursive handwriting, because all of this is going to be lost to to us if we don't really fight back and make them teach cursive handwriting. Because, well, first of all, cursive handwriting as a teacher, I was a former teacher, there's really something, and I had read research, I don't know it well enough to quote it here, but there's research that shows that cursive handwriting, if you write your notes in cursive handwriting, there's something about the act that transfers the information to your brain. It like it stays better. Um, so we're gonna lose that. We're gonna lose all this wonderful information. Um, yeah. So you know we need to pitch a fit about cursive handwriting. So there's that. This was just hanging out in that room. I thought, oh, that's awesome. I can make flower centers out of that. It's heavy. <laughs> very heavy um, there's more of that sheer curtain in here which I may show you in the box itself this was in that vintage sewing machine that I told you about and let's see if I can I know you've seen it but sometimes it's more fun I'm opening the thing if you wonder what I'm doing okay, okay. 